The kiln will arrive in a heavy cardboard crate strapped to a pallet. To uncrate the kiln, use your metal shears to cut the strapping on the cardboard crate and remove the lid. Lift the sides of the crate up off the kiln and remove all internal packing. The cardboard lid and crate can be used as cushioning for laying down the lid and kiln sections as you take them apart. Cut the metal strapping holding the stand in place and set the stand aside. Please do not attempt to lift the whole kiln at once by the handles. The handles are designed to support the weight of individual sections only. Now we are ready to disassemble the kiln. Open the kiln lid to release the tension on the side chains. Next, open the connecting links and unhook the chains on each side of the kiln. Carefully close the lid, keeping in mind that the lid assist is now disengaged and the lid will feel heavier than usual. Use the needle nose pliers to remove the hinge pin and pull out the rod. Next, use the socket driver to remove the screws holding the side support arms to the lid band. The support arms will remain attached to the top section of the kiln. and use the socket driver to remove the screws on the opposite side of the kiln. Once you have removed the screws, you can lift the lid off of the top ring and set it aside on a flat surface. Now you need to open the control box to access the wiring. With the quarter inch socket driver, remove the single screw from the top of the left panel of the control box. Next, remove the three screws along the side of the right panel of the control box. These screws connect the red control box to the silver heat shields. The heat shields do not need to be removed from the kiln jacket. Once all screws are removed, the box will swing open. Before you disconnect anything, it is important to label all element wires clearly. The thermocouple lead wires are already labeled. TC1 is the top, TC2 is the middle, and TC3 is the bottom. Make note of this for your reference when reassembling the kiln. Starting at the top, use the masking tape and marker to label each element wire and its corresponding copper connector 1 through 12. There are four screws on each thermocouple connecting block. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, loosen the two outer screws on the top thermocouple connecting block until the red and yellow wires can be removed. The thermocouples do not need to be removed from the kiln, but should remain attached to the silver heat shield. Only the lead wires need to come off. Repeat for the middle and bottom thermocouples. Starting at the top, use the pliers to hold the copper element connector steady and loosen the set screw with a 1 8 inch Allen wrench. Gently pull the element wire out of the connector and retighten the connector onto the exposed end of the element to keep it from getting lost. Repeat for all the elements.
Now that all the wiring connecting the control box to the kiln has been disconnected, the box can be removed. Remove the screws inside the bottom right corner of the control box as you see here. Next, remove the screws on the left side of the box that attach the red control box to the silver heat shields. After the screws have been removed, you can remove the box, the power cable will remain attached to the box, and set it aside. Now you can separate the sections of the kiln. First, remove the two screws in the center of the heat shields. Next, unhook the latches on the sides of the kiln. Carefully lift the top section straight up using the handles. Be aware of the support arms that are loose and that the heat shield interlocks with the one below it. Repeat for the middle section. And there you have it. Your kiln has been successfully disassembled.